Hi everyone and welcome to the next video in our course Beginners Basics for FreeCAD 0.22 or what will be known as FreeCAD version 1. In our last video we went through some preferences to set up FreeCAD for this course and also we went through some settings to make that interface easier to read especially if you have a visual disability. In this video we're going to be looking at the UI, the toolbars and the panels themselves. So I hope you're enjoying these videos and let's take a look how we configure those UI elements for the course ahead. If you like what you see and you want to donate to the channel, then you can do so via Ko-Fi or Coffee at ko-fi.com forward slash M-A-N-G zero or via PayPal at paypal.com forward slash PayPal me forward slash Darren B. E. Stone. I also run a Patreon where you can get early access and additional content. And that's at patreon.com forward slash mango jelly solutions. Links can be found in the channel header on the about page or in the descriptions of these videos. In this tutorial, we're going to spend some time looking at the UI and setting it up for the course ahead. I'm just going to come up to the top and click on file and new document. Now, as I said before, because we changed the icon size, we may need to position some of the icons in the toolbars. This is quite an easy job. But we'll go through that in this video. First of all, let's have a look at parts of the screen. Across the top, you see the menu system. Now this menu will change depending on the workbench that has been selected. If we look across the top, we have these options. This drop down here is on a standard toolbar. If I drop this down, I have a number of workbenches in here. Each of these icons is a workbench. Now you'll have less than what you're seeing here. That's because I've added extra workbenches via the add-on manager. Don't worry if we're using an additional workbench, I'll show you how to install that and where to install it from. Now a workbench is an area that has a number of tools associated with, let's say a theme. For instance, in the sketch workbench, we have tools to create 2D geometries. Whereas in the part workbench, we have tools to take that 2D geometry and extrude and loft it. So we'll be moving from one workbench to another. Think of them as in different places inside your workshop. So you'll have a bench to do your 2D and drafting, preparing the part to be cut. And then you'll have another bench with all the tools to cut your piece of work on. I'm going to go back to the start workbench. Now, one thing you'll notice that because we changed the size of the icons, you'll probably see two lines of icons going across here. This at the moment, because we're on the start workbench, are the standard toolbars. These will appear on all workbenches. As you can see, we have quite a bit of space here, which I can move these toolbars onto. To do that, we come over to the toolbar. And we see this vertical dotted line here. If we hover over it, we see a crosshair. We click and hold the left mouse. We can drag the toolbar up to the top, highlight that blank space, and let it go. We've moved the toolbar into that blank space. Let's repeat it for the other one, just leaving one row. So now we have one row here which will be much neater when we come to the other workbenches. So if we go to the part workbench, I'll drop this down and go to the part, we should see the tools for the part workbench appear below and the standard toolbars appear above. If they don't and say they're sitting here, then just drag them and place them below. You may have to do this for such workbenches as the surface. They may appear up here. So if they appeared up here, then we just drag it. So it's the second row below. Same for the part design. If we have too many tools, then we'll get two rows. These tools may appear in slightly different places, but I'll be using both the toolbar and pointing them out in the menu system during the modeling process. If we look at the toolbars, you'll notice that we have some drop down markers here. So this little arrow that's pointing downwards, this means there are additional tools, if we click, 
underneath that icon. So we can see them there when we're on the part design workbench. Or if we come over to the part, notice that the tools are up here at the moment. If we drop them down, we can move them. And the next time we come back to this, they will stay where they are. So in here, you can see this tool here, there's a drop down by the side. So we can drop this down and see what's within. There is also another arrow icon. If we look to the right, you can see this little arrow here. This is just because this toolbar has been shrunk to allow it to fit in this area. This arrow, if I click on it, you see we have tools within. If this was dropped down one level, so what I've done is just pulled it from the top and dropped it down, you see it spans out. We can just place that back to where it was. All toolbars, if we come into them and right click, you'll see that we have a number of options in here. And we can uncheck, so this macro one here, I can uncheck it and it disappears. If I right click and check it again, it appears back on the toolbar. Tools can be added from one workbench to another, but we'll get into that later in the course when we need it. As well as toolbars, we have panels. So if we look to the left here, we have a task and a model panel. These are two separate panels. Again, these can be customized and docked to different parts of the work area. In previous versions of FreeCAD, the task panel and the model panel are combined as tabs. If you want to do this, then hover over the model title bar here and click and drag and you'll see a blue box, which represents that panel. If I drag it up, you'll notice it will start snapping to different parts of the work area. If I drag it over the task, so into here, you'll see it highlights the task and I can let go and it will be placed as a tab within. This will be the same as the previous version of FreeCAD. I can take that tab and change the order by just click and dragging it across to the other side. If I want it back to where it was, I just take the tab, click and drag it out. Just place it over the task so the whole panel is highlighted. This will place it within the tab again. But if I move this down, what will happen is we'll get this second section pop up and I can drop it in here and then just hover over the divider until I get this icon here, click and drag it up. For this course, we're gonna start with it inside as a tab. And we may pull this out to be over this side. So we're gonna move it over to this side to here. At this point, this allows us easy access to the task panel and the model panel without going through the need to change the tabs. In the previous versions, I will be flipping between those tabs. In this version, I can have both those panels separate, saving a lot of time. In the next video, we'll look at navigation. So we'll be looking at the controls down here and also at the preferences. And we'll start using FreeCAD and understanding how the navigation works to allow you to manipulate geometry and 3D objects in the 3D view. Hope you're enjoying these videos. And I hope to see you in the next lesson. If you like what you've seen and you want to donate to the channel, then you can do so via Ko-Fi or Coffee at ko-fi.com forward slash M-A-N-G-0 or via PayPal at paypal.com forward slash PayPal me forward slash Darren B. E. Stone. I also run a Patreon where you can get early access and additional content. And that's at patreon.com forward slash Mango Jelly Solutions. Links can be found in the channel header on the about page or in the descriptions of these videos. I thank everybody that's donated so far. It really helps to keep the lights on so I can produce more content and also expand the channel. Thank you for liking, commenting and subscribing to these videos and I hope to see you again in the next one.